In this problem, we have a nonlinear function. We've got an x squared term, so this is not a line. And we're being asked to find the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts of the graph. If this was a line, you'd probably be able to do that no problem. It's really not that much harder with a nonlinear function. The same concept holds, and that is the x-intercepts, there may be more than one, uh, are where y is 0. So I could put 0 in for y and try to solve for x. And the y-intercepts are where x equals 0, so I could put 0 in for x and try to solve for y. I think I'm going to do the second one first, because putting in 0 um, for x makes this really simple. It would be 0 squared plus y equals 16. So that's just y equals 16. So the y-intercept is y equals 16. If I do the same thing uh, for the x-intercepts, I put in 0 for y, I would get x squared plus 0, won't even write that, equals 16. And then I just take the square root of both sides, and I get x equals, remember, plus or minus when you take the square root, 4. So those are how to find the x and y-intercepts of a nonlinear function.